Hi, I am Carol Owens from Notre Dame, and I got next. You next up, and you ain't been on sports like talk. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, and you up next. Keep the queens go hard. Rise a star on the big scene. Make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat. Don't set up for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B. Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. T Nation, won't he do it? Oh my goodness, welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next, a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. That's right, we're talking to rising stars who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams. And today, ain't even got that many fingers, ladies and gentlemen. We got one of the most prominent one of the most iconic, one of the most trailblazers in the game of women's basketball right now. So if you are watching this, if you are tuned in, you are being blessed because we got it, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know when we started three years ago, we was going to have these types of people to come on the show and join the family. But ladies and gentlemen, 23 years in the game at Notre Dame, the associate head coach, Carol Owens in the building. Coach Owens, how you doing today? Good. How you guys doing? Oh, we're doing good. Yeah, doing we got good. you on the show. I'm excited. I'm we made it. We made it. <laughs> we made it. All right, coach. Before we get started, allow me and KT to reintroduce ourselves. I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones, the OG, all thing, everything, Louisiana. Mr. Yeet is in the building. And I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother, my partner in crime, the head coach, the choir storm. KT, Kev, how you feeling today, man? B. Jones, it must be the luck of the Irish, because how do we get a guest this dope on our platform? We're not worried of B. Jones, but you know what? I'm doing great. Let's go, man. Let's turn up for Notre Dame. Let's turn it up. Well, check this out, Notre Dame. We finally made it. And uh, I don't know. I can be more happy to be associated with you guys. We hope that you guys can stick around and join our family because Kevin and I, we don't do fans. We don't do followers. We do family. And we need your help right now. All right, Irish, the fighting Irish. We need y'all to put those hands up together. And on the count of three, lock arms. Hey, that's right, coach. And we need y'all to smash that subscribe button help us to keep this amazing 2023 going so we can keep getting more legendary coaches like like carol owens on the show can, can, can coach owens your people gonna rock with us they gonna do that for us they gonna rock with you the notre dame fans are all over the country all over the world so they're gonna rock with you so let's go i don't know why i just got, I got bad pipes going to my da, 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 da. you know what i'm saying let's go here we go south bend one oh. two Three, two, welcome to the Sports Life Talk family. I'm so sad. I'm so proud to have you a part of it, and uh, we hope y'all enjoy the show as much as we love hosting it. So, without further ado, the moment of truth is up on us. See, oh, let's go, Coach Carol Owens. Are you ready for the Sports Life Talk initiation? Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, coach, to initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. Ooh, so number one would probably be Jill Scott. Jill Scott would be my number one. And then I would have to go with Robert Glasper. Robert Glasper is a great um, musician. I love jazz. Um, and then I have one of my favorites, a local artist. Her name is Mickey Miller. She is super dope. You got to look her up. Um, she's a um, singer, entertainer, musician, producer. Um, she's good. Let's see. Who else do I 
love to listen to right now. I'm like, I, I listen to everything, gospel, everything, but um, I'm listening to a little of uh, um, Summer Walker. I listen to um, Kendrick Lamar. That's five, right? I can go on That's and on. That's five. That's hey, five. Coach, hey, 23 years in the game, you can go as far as you want to go. I don't know. <laughs> you can say seven more for all I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also a Jay-Z fan, too. Uh, I mean, I love everything. I, the, probably the least thing I listen to would probably be country, but I listen to everything. All right. All right, Coach. So we like to rank everybody's top five, and the highest you can get is five. Okay. But, but as far as coaches on our platform, it doesn't get any higher than you, so be chose. <laughs> I'm ready, man. I already know. I'm ready. Man, we know. are about to set the record for the many things that we're going to give out. So she says she's been at Notre Dame for 23. But yes. she's been in the game for longer than that, B. Jones. Yes. Okay. I do not want you to give her a Louisiana 28. I want you to give her a You Got Next 28. Let's go. There we go. Yo, I'm letting you know, I, I just gave you all of our money. We don't have Everything any more going. money. Everything's I'm about to sell team. some shoes. I'm about to give away one of my kids, Coach, but it was worth it. All I'm right, about so to go who, over there and talk to praying Jesus. Touchdown, right. Jesus. Touchdown, Jesus. Everybody. All right, so who is your favorite superhero and why? Uh, it's Captain Marvel. It's my superhero. You know, I'll, if you if you wanted to have like a superhero, like a like the TV or um, uh, what do you call it? comic book, is Captain Marvel because she's the bomb. You can't defeat her. You know what's funny about that? You're the second. This is the second uh, Marvel, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel in a row. So yep. something's happening, B. Jones. It's a change in the momentum on the superhero. Captain Marvel cannot be beat. It's just like, you know, when they had the DC comics and they was trying to kill off Superman, Superman can't be killed. That was no. just like, just annoyed with that. But Captain Marvel, like she has something in her system that she can't be beat. Like she's tough. That she doesn't get enough credit. That's coach, true. they didn't know you was gonna drop. They didn't know you was gonna drop that comic <laughs> fandom on them, though, Coach. They sleeping on you. They sleeping they, on your, you know, your acumen, hey, Coach. If you want to be, if you, if I want to be really real, I, I, I'm a Jedi at heart. Like I love Star Wars. Like everything Star Wars. Like, if, have you watched Mandalorian? I haven't watched a new no, season. I haven't. Yet, I'm gonna watch. I haven't it. watched it. Season. Like I love Star Wars. Everything. Like I'll tell you a story. Like. My, when I watched um, The Empire Strikes Back, I was a kid and the movie theater caught fire. So we had to leave the theater as a kid and we went out the, the emergency exit and it was fenced in. And my dad had to break the fence down for us to escape. And, you know, nowadays we probably would have had a whole lot going on than just, you know, getting free tickets to come back. But we came back the next day and watched Empire Strikes Back. So it's just, it's been, I have this Star Wars ornaments, all that. So that's just kind of a little something outside. See, that's why of, you kick it with coaches <laughs> like Coach Owens. Because you, you get you get little gems like that. You know, we, we don't get stories like that with everybody else. Movie theaters right. catching on fire. I'm yeah, just going to yeah. enjoy this as, as, as a fanboy right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm but just you in know the what? I've been on so, this earth longer. I've been on this earth a long time. You know, a lot of coaches that are, are going on. I got socks older than them, so uh, you know what? It's it's all and you know I bring a lot of wisdom to the game. So and I and I and I embrace that. But then she just told us pretty much that her dad is a uh, Mace Windu. He's a, a Jedi, so th th that's pretty cool. Jedi, he broke the fence. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, so since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Man, my theme song, it would be Queen Latifah coming to my king, queendom, coming to my house. Remember that song? I don't know if you remember. Y'all might too, be too young for that. No, nah, we know about Queen Latifah. We're not as young as you think we are, Coach. But, but the only song that came into my mind was the U -N -U -N -I -T -Y. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Come into my house. Because I'm from Chicago, and it's a house song. Trust she, she rapped a hot house song. And I'm from Chicago, the capital of house music. 
So that's my theme song. I'm sticking to it. Yeah, and it's another song by Queen Latifah, Who You Calling Her, You Know What, too. So I remember yeah. I remember those songs, but yeah, that's a good one. All right, Coach, if you could shadow anyone for a week and learn from them, it could be who would it be and why? Man, you know what? I was just um, in a conversation with my best friend about Michelle Obama. I would love to shadow her because um, she, she, she's someone that looks like me. She's someone that has been at such a high level and she carries herself with so much grace and dignity. And I just love that. She's a strong black woman. And I just, I just admire, I read her first book. I got to get the second one, but she's confident and she's confident in who she is. So I love that. I love to just hang out with her. Okay. So coach, we mentioned earlier that you've been at Notre Dame for 23 years, but you've been in the game a long time. A long time. Yes. What, advice, what advice would you give your younger coaching self? You know, the one thing that I think about um, in this uh, in this game, in this coaching, like we all think as even outside of coaching, we all think life is linear and you're always going to take a different routes. It's not going to always look like you think it should look and you should take this step and that step. Sometimes you have to go through certain things, certain avenues, certain adversity. You're always going to hit adversity. But whatever it is, um, you always come through to the goal, to the ultimate goal that you kind of set out to, you know. And I, the other thing I would say is always trust your gut. Always trust, Your gut will tell you so much. Um, about what you need to do. I mean, the power of prayers just is just so um, important in my life. But um, along with that is trusting your gut and in, in the decisions that you make. Okay, so the last part of this initiation, Coach, I got to ask you this. So B. Jones and I, we're planning on making a road trip. We want to come to South Bend and watch our play. Okay. Well, what is a good restaurant that we can go to before we come to the game? Well, first of all, I'm I'm a pretty good cook. So if you're not coming to my house, that's um, where I'm going. Eat, you know, well, that's where, yeah, where, yeah, we definitely going. I, I bring the plates. <laughs> There's a restaurant called Cafe Navarre. It's downtown. You wouldn't believe it's in South Bend, but they have great food, great atmosphere, um, and it'll show you a little bit of what South Bend is all about. Now, Coach, no. what, uh, what well, I want to know about what you putting out, though. I want to yeah, know about this, about this South, 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 South Chicago. What you got on your dinner from, table? Um, you from Louisiana. Well, I was yes, born. I was in born. I was born in Mississippi. So my family okay. lineage, lineage is is from the South. So I bring a lot of the South. Um, <sighs> and my mom brings a lot of the South. My mom's a great cook and she's a great baker. But we cook um, a lot of soul food. I cook anything because I'm from Chicago, you know, and I'm diff I've been around so many different cultures. You know, I can cook Italian. I can cook um, Asian food. I cook, you know, Mexican food, <laughs> whatever you want, like whatever I feel like I want to eat, you know. Uh, yes. Yeah, so um, I try I try to cook um, for my family and friends. Well, yeah. Coach, yeah. Just, just scratch that from the record. We're not going to a restaurant. We come to yeah, we, we come straight to your over place. To Coach Owens' house. That's right. Oh, Beecho, you got me with that one. I didn't see that one coming. That was so pretty the coming. staff, you know, as far as the staff, I'm the cook of the staff. Now I don't cook every day, but I will. I will cook. Oh, we coming. We bringing the plastic plates, the plastic forks, the the cups. Oh, we, we bring two liters. I got the two liters. You know what I'm saying? We bring it out to fine China for y'all. Awesome, B.J. We got to wash dishes now. Okay, Coach, I got it. You cook, we got the dishes. <laughs> we, we got you. All right, so the most important thing in life will always be family. And that's something that B.J. and I, we always preach. So allow me to reintroduce our newest family member, Coach Carol Owens. But B.J., before you take over, I almost forgot, man. I almost forgot. If you're watching this episode, please stay to the end. But once it's over, go to SLT. You got next.com on there. You will find out more about B Jones and myself and you'll learn about the rest of our family members from our you got next series and B Jones. Did we mention that this is a nomination episode nominations episode. So shout out to coach Shannon LaBeouf 
from UCLA. She the one that told us about Carol Owens, about Coach Owens. So let's wrap. Hey, sound the alarm. This is a special one. Yes, Shannon. That's my girl. Love her. Yeah, we, we're going to get a chance to meet her this weekend, even though this episode will come out maybe like a couple of weeks after, but we're going to actually meet her in person this weekend. Oh, awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, Coach CO, Coach Carol Owens, welcome to the family. I don't know, y'all. I just, I just, I just want to be in the presence and just, just touch the hem of your garment. I mean, I'm just saying you're doing, <laughs> you're doing major things right now. You know what I'm saying? I just, hey, look, we, hey, I'm just a fan at the end of the day. I just want to be a part of this, and uh, we're about, we're about to bless y'all with an amazing story. So, coach, you know, we, they, the Irish hold it up there, but you got to have a little bit of that to come up in Chicago. So, take us back, coach. Take us back to them days in Chicago, because when I, when I was reading, now I was reading. That you even got a bucket back in the day, coach. That you that you was putting it, hey, you was putting it on some folks. That you you got game as well. Is that the truth? Take us back to Chicago in the in in the, in the gyms. And I I had a little game. You had to have a little game from Chicago. People don't know that they know me as a coach, but you know I I um, took the role less travel. I went to a smaller school, even though I could have gone to a bigger school. But um, by my senior year, we were. Um, averaging like 92 points a game in college. We were back and forth with Stanford in terms of our scoring um, each game. And um, we played some of the toughest teams in the country. You know, we were just one of those, um, I would say, I'm trying to think of a, a team that's relatable of our team um, that is now that is, doesn't have like the traditional name but we were just we were uh, a group of young ladies that took a chance um on a coach uh, a young coach and we we built something really great i mean we were packing packing the gym so I, i'm just very grateful but you know in my roots in chicago my dad used to take me out to the playground that's that's how you learn how to play in the playground i didn't have a trainer or anything like that i learned the game against people that had no sympathy against me i you know i used to play against guys all the time and we would play in summer leagues and all that and it was tough you know i had some hard lessons but that's what it's all about blue collar that's what chicago is all about you know getting in it and, and being tough and so i think i i bring that sense of you know that chicago toughness blue collar worker uh, if I could describe my game, it would probably be like a Charles Barkley, you know, Ooh. type of game. Yes. Um, so that was that was kind of my game. I love the physical part. And then, uh, you know, I, I was able to play professionally overseas for a little bit. But I, I brought that, uh, you know, I love the physical part. Now, Coach, what, what, what made you decide to become a coach? Because... I'm going to tell you something. We talked to a lot of coaches. You know, we, we probably had over 200 coaches to grace our platform and to uh, to sit down with us. But, I mean, 28 plus years, that's a lot of sacrifice. That's a lot it of is. recruiting trips. That's a lot of airplane mileage and dealing with 18 to 22 year old young ladies. It's a lot of uh, auntie in there. I mean, I'm just saying, coach, yeah, uh, yeah. what made you decide to sign up for this for this uh, for this role? I just felt like, um, you know, everybody kind of discovers their purpose in life. And my purpose was to um, uh, mentor, mentor people. And it just happened to be in coaching. And, um, you know, my when I came to Notre Dame, my first uh, coaching assignment was to recruit our, head, our current her head coach, Neil Ivey. I recruited her. And got her to come to Notre Dame, and we ended up winning our first national championship. And um, she flourished as you know, assistant coach and coach with the Grizzlies. So I'm just really proud of that. But just um, I think you know, I get a lot of gratification of just mentoring young women, you know, uh, and teaching them about life, giving them a lot of life skills, and just watching if they even if they're not playing or they're not coaching just their lives and how it just, it flourishes whenever they wanted to, even if they want to be a mother, you know, they have the tools that they, they've learned through the years um, by myself and other coaches 
of just, you know, some of the advice that we were able to give them because I've played, I've been there and I can show, I can teach them some of the things that I've done, um, you know, in my experiences, you know, it's not something that I'm telling you what to do. I've been through it. You know, I've been through the knee injuries. I've been, you know, through the rehabs and all that kind of stuff. I've lived overseas. I, I can tell them all those things. So, um, I think that's kind of give that that gives me the gratification uh, in coaching is why I stay in it and you know I'm always learning I'm I'm a coach that you know um, thrives on learning the game and growing the game and I you know I have an appreciation for the growth of women's basketball and where it is now you know I mean think about what happened in Dallas and the teams that were um, uh, playing and the viewership and and all that um, there's something special about our game but I remember when you know it wasn't like that and it took you know some coaches to really come together and play each other not being afraid of playing the best teams in the country um, really fighting for viewership and um, and just earning respect you know, uh, not only our colleagues, but the, on the men's side, they watch our game. People are talking about women's basketball, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Do you think do you think what transpired in Dallas was like a catalytic moment? I mean, like y'all have been dope for 30 years almost. But right. It's like everybody in America finally woke up after all of the headlines and you got the Angel Reese's and you got yeah. the Caitlin Clarks and now all of a sudden it's like your magic and your bird. Do, do you feel like that's the transcendent moment? Like the game is about to become something that we've been waiting on it to be? It took it took some some specific things to happen for people kind of to have a conversation about and now they're interested in the game and it's a, an exciting game and um you know, like you said, women's game has been dope all along. But when you put them on a platform um, where people can notice and see the personalities, you know, the, the personalities of, of the players, you know, we're just not driven the ball up the court and putting it in a hoop. We, we, we're women. We, we care about femininity. We care about, you know, the style of the game. We got all the the moves and all that kind of stuff. You got great coaches, you know, there's great coaches and, and there's starting to be a lot of parody in our game as well. And fiery competitors. These women are super competitive. And, and it's like the men out there in the world, oh, oh, you can't see me. They talking trash. I mean, y'all better get over yourself. These young ladies are trying to win. They trying to win rings. They, they elbows and bolos being thrown. Now you a post. It's you know all about that, don't talking. you coach? It's been trash talking. For years, this is nothing new. <laughs> you know, you just had an opportunity to see it, and so there's there's com some conversation around it. But if you've been in our game, like you guys have been watching our game, you know that there's all that those things have always been been there. Yep, absolutely. Now, Coach, uh, my, uh, my wife she tells me this all the time. Behind every great man, there's a great woman. Well, behind every great coach. It's some amazing staff members, right? And right. I, you had the opportunity to work for Coach Muffet. Now you're working for Coach Ivy. And it's like, you're this prominent face in Notre Dame history. And like, I mean, tell us, Coach, how, how does that happen? Like, tell us how special that is to work for what is definitely a Hall of Fame coach and what is on track to be a Hall of Fame coach. How special is that to be such a prominent figure in those, those coaching staffs and in those coaches' lives? I tell you, I'm truly blessed to be in in both <laughs> in both rooms. And you know, uh, Coach McGraw, um, she took a chance on me when I didn't have the experience. You know, um, and she saw some potential in a young woman that you know had recently finished playing overseas and was um, young to the game and didn't have any experience. And she could have got someone that would had a lot more experience than me. And I, I will always be appreciative of that and just watching like she's one of the smartest people I've ever been around and how she, you know, saw the game and how she coached um, young women. And she gave them she wanted to teach confidence. And those are things those are the models that I would like because 
on, you know, on the women's side, you always want to teach young women that, um, you know, just the ability to be confident in themselves and what they want to do. And she allowed them to have a voice. But it wasn't popular to have a, a woman to have a voice. Um, and, you know, I learned so much from that. And, um, you know, now working with Neil Ivy, you know, I'm just really, really proud of who she is as a head coach. And like you said, she's on that Hall of Fame track. I mean, the things that she's done in such a short time has been amazing. And she has all the tools of, of a special coach and a coach of our future. You know, she has great relationships with our players and, and, you know, she, she builds relationships with them and it's good to see and, and to be on each end and, and see the different personalities of coaches has been amazing. And I'm just fortunate to be in the game this long. You know what I mean? You know, I have to be doing something right to be, you know, um, yeah, coaching this yeah. long and, and to continue to love it uh, is, is been, it's been a blessing to me. Kevin, are we, can I get a little bit longer today, Kevin? I know, I know that we, we're going a little bit over the 30 minutes. <laughs> don't ask me, ask coach. Ask coach, coach you, are you in a rush? Yeah, let's, go. let's go. All right. All right, let's go. All right coach. I, I got to ask you that because I want to make sure we, we respectful of your time. But, uh, but, but coach now off, I'm gonna have to ask you about coaching on Cause she is literally my favorite WNBA player. Did you get the opportunity to coach on I was there with Enrique. I was there oh, with right. Skyler, well, we're talk Enrique, about it. <laughs> coach, that's, what, that, that's, that's the lead up to my question. Now, hold on, Coach. Now, you, you everybody else have what they call a resume. You know, and then you see people with the little dash over the E. That's how you know they got a resume. You got a resume. Do you hear me? <laughs> you got the dash. You, you got, got the, the dash, dash over your E. I don't have the dash yet. <laughs> you got the dash. <laughs> Thir- 34 All-Americans, Coach. You've won countless assistant coaches of the year. You you part of the the step up uh, foundation. You are a, a board of direct. I mean, coach, your name is synonymous with women's basketball. Coach, how have you been so successful? What's the recipe? What's the secret sauce? You know what I have. I just stay grounded. You know, I stay. I have balance. Uh, with my my family and my friends and my church family and all that, I try to stay grounded and remember why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I think that's kind of been the recipe is when you're doing the right things, um, you know, there's there's stability in that, you know. And, um, you know, I've just been blessed uh, with, you know, the opportunity to to stay in this game long and they've they this game has had me as long as it has but you know I've been fortunate to to coach some some of the best players in the world and um you know I'm just I just feel blessed about it and I I enjoy life and I enjoy what I do but I have fun and I you know the the kids you know I I'm able to laugh at myself you know I'm older you know, so the kids, I, you know, the kids are, they, they find humor in this OG right here. And I love that, you know, I'm very confident in what, who I am and what I do. But, you know, when you're doing it for the right reasons, man, there's nothing like it, um, to be, to be a part of. And, and I, and I'm in this for the right reasons. I'm in, um, to mentor young women, to develop them, to grow the game. Um, to mentor young coaches um, so they can be the next up so you can be interviewing some of the next coaches and um, you know I think people I've earned the respect uh, of my colleagues and uh, (laughs) the coaches and you know I'm thankful for that I'm really really thankful for that. Now, it, it's funny you say that because, you know, I use the word dope and backstage. You was chopping it up with us. We having fun. And, and then you come on there, you say I'm the OG. It's like it's like it's that cool factor. It's that cool factor. But, you know, there's a lot of head coaches that refuse to adapt. Now, 20 years, you've seen a lot of change in this game. Let's just be real. You know, not only from a how you communicate and talk to people, the, the science and analytics game era came along, and now you got the, the NIL and the portal era, portal era. So 
you've been a part of a of a of a complete like change 180 almost so to speak in the women's game how, how, like how have you like what is it something that you just you intentional about keeping up with times or is it just i'm just i'm just going with the flow and you kind of mimic other coaches or what, what how does that happen well i think when you you have the the posture of i want to learn i want to i want to learn this game um how i coach the you know some of our players five years ago is a different than how I coach them now, how I coach, you know, Niel and her era is totally different. Totally and, different. You know, and I'm not, uh, you know, arrogant enough to think like, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. And this is how it's going to be. You know, you have to evolve with, the, you have to meet your uh, young ladies where they are. And, mm. I've been able to just kind of realize that, you know, and just say, Hey, I want to meet them. Where Sometimes I have a better conversation with some of our kids on IG than I do face to face. And that's okay. As long as we're communicating, as long as you can tap into, to connecting with me, that's how we're going to connect. But, uh, and sometimes, you know, it's, you know, a conversation, an all cuff conversation before practice, because I think when you build the relationships with those kids, you're able to coach them because they know that you care about them. And I, when I stopped having the, the passion and the desire to make people better, then it's time for me to get out of the game. But hey, I haven't lost that yet. So I'm still in it. Well, coach, you probably just won another coach of the year award somewhere around here. I just, I'm just waiting for, <laughs> just waiting for that resume to update. But I, right, coach, welcome to the championship rounds. You now, Carol Owens, are taking over the show and calling all the shots. All right, have you ever played right. a game called Would You Rather before? I have. All right, I'm well, nervous, this is the but I have. Oh, don't be, don't be. This is the Sports Life Talk version of Would You Rather where Coach uh, KT over here and I are both going to make a pitch to you. You select one of those, that host gain a point, okay? The first okay. host to get two points will win this game, this episode's game of championship rounds. Mm, yes, and uh, right now I'm on a little bit of a streak uh, fighting, fighting Irish. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty bold. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm ready, okay. I'm ready to get in here and do this. You can fix your face, KT. You can fix your face, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Let's go. All right, Coach Owens, round number one. Would you rather coach a player that becomes a coach and wins a ring and say, hey, I got it from that Carol Owens blueprint, right? I'm, I'm in that Carol Owens coaching tree. Or coach a player that makes it to the Basketball Hall of Fame and in their speech tell you they wouldn't be here without you. Oh, man. I think I would rather coach a player that becomes a coach and gets a ring. <laughs> this is how we do it. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love I'm it. Sorry. I love it. I love it. All right. <laughs> Now, Coach Ivy might have a different opinion on this one. This is what I'm about to give right now. We're going to see what you say, all right? Okay. Coach Owens, would you rather Netflix film a seasoned documentary like Last Chance You, where they follow you and the rest of that coaching staff around for a year and have the Notre Dame story, or... Coach, I promise if I lose this round, I'm going to be really, really upset. Okay. Would you rather host your own cooking show on the Food Network, where you travel the world interviewing athletes and celebrities as they take you to their favorite places to eat in their hometowns. Coach, I would I would rather travel the world on the Cooking Network. I know you said you could cook earlier, so if you went to Netflix, <laughs> I got to walk off the set. I'd have been done for the day. <laughs> like I said, I told y'all, Coach Ivan would love that that Netflix crew coming through there. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong answer, Coach. That was the wrong answer. Oh, answer. Geez. We tied now. We yeah. tied. I know. I know. All right, KT, cue it up. All right. On our show, which you can watch Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central, B. Jones has a segment called The Drop. On The Drop, he presents shoes that he feel are worthy of your financial donations. So for round three, B. Jones and I, we're going to present a shoe to Coach Owens, whichever shirt, I say shirt, whichever shoe 
she picks that host wins this episode's game okay. so what we're gonna do i'm gonna count down three two one and i need for you to say hold that sneaker and b jones and i are going to show you what we got you ready coach right. okay three two one hold that sneaker feeling lucky oh man i like the one with the black with the green trim <laughs> this one yes. this one coach yes. this one this yes. nigga right here I will this nigga that. right here is life now, hey, I went with this one because this is the Celtics. Oh, who cares, B. Jones? Let's move on. I don't want to hear about I don't care about what you picked there, bro. You go. And mm. still. Um, oh, man. Hey. M O T S. This is how we do it down south, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and still, champion of this show. I might just let this thing linger out here for a little bit longer. KT, fix your face. Fix I refuse like to fix my face. I don't mind losing. I just hate losing to you. That's the problem. I don't like losing to you. Goodness. Get used to it. That's the third time in a row. Hold on. Who is it that beat y'all beat in that, a national championship? Was it Mississippi State? What's that? Is it? Did y'all beat Mississippi State in the national championship? Is that who y'all beat when That's Enrique hit your last? That's how I feel right now. I feel like a Mississippi State. Oh, man. So bad. Man, that's a bad feeling because me and Enrique won. All right. All right, Coach Owens, what a title of the show is Sports Life Talks. You got next. And I don't know. This has just been a fun journey. I, I hate it's got to come to an end, but we got to know, Coach, what does the future hold for you? What can we look forward to now that we rocking with, with Go Irish Coach O? Yo, I am just focused on – this group currently, I mean, we trying to win a national championship, um, you know, and, you know, when my coaching career is over, I'll still be involved some kind of way. Like I said, mentoring other coaches and helping them in this, um, this coaching business and, and giving them all the advice that I can give them. Now, coach, one day you got to hang up the whistle. You got to put your Irish threes down and you got to say, hey, I'm a, I'm a, you know, and I'm, I'm handed on to the next generation. But coach, from a legacy perspective, how do you want to be remembered in this game? What kind of footprint do you want to have left on, with the, on the game of women's college basketball? You know, I just want to be someone that loved the game, um, that cared about people uh, and someone that did it for the right reasons. Um, but just. Um, left a legacy of, of growth and, and um, that, you know, people see me and they respect how I did it, how I coached it, coached the game. And um, yeah, you know, I just, I want to just be remembered as someone that really, truly um, gave it their all in this business. All right, Coach, so do you have any shout outs you want to give? All right, shout out to my Notre Dame women's basketball crew, our head coach, Neil Ivey, who's the bomb, who's the best dressed in the business, um, you know, and the rest of our staff. I want to give a shout out to Coach McGraw. I want to give a shout out to my family, my parents. I love them very much. And um, a shout out to the women's game. It's booming. Let's it's go. Booming. And give another shout out to Coach Ivey. Hey, Coach. Ivey. Yes. All right. All right, Coach. So this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story. I want you to do the same thing. With that said, Coach, who are you calling out? Who should I have next? I am calling out Shay Robinson from Louisville. That's my guy. So good right. friend of mine, good colleague. I don't know if he's been on your show, but he's the one nah, that we, I'm. We had, uh, we had Coach Pineda. Coach, though. Coach, Pineda. Coach JP. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. had on. So we got to get Coach Shea. You are on the clock. Your ticket has been punched. We can't ha can't wait to have you on the show and uh, tell everybody your amazing journey. But Coach Carol Owens, you are a pioneer. You are a warrior. You are an icon. You are a legend in this game, the matriarch of college basketball. Coach, you are extraordinary and elite, and you deserve a yeast. yeast.
<laughs> Coach Carol Owens, <laughs> you got next. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Let's I go. love this show. I can't, we got the best jobs in America. Y'all yes, just thank, thankfully I, I I made it this whole show without uh without crying because I've just my stomach has just been doing knots this whole show. That's how special this episode <laughs> is to me. We hope y'all enjoyed it as much as as much as we did. But before we get out of here, before we get out, please go follow us, like, subscribe, share, check us out. We everywhere, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We want you to become part of our family. We take that family very seriously. So please lock in with us, tap in with us. And if you do, if you want to come on the show, if you're like, man, I would love the opportunity to come sit there and tell my story. We can't find everybody, right? Uh, Shea, Shea, Coach Shea Robinson got the nomination, but you too could be nominated by going to SLT you got next.com that is slt you got next.com and uh click on the nominations tab and tell us who you are we open up auditions we not closed off we we part of the world just like you are we want to hear about your story so we can hi highlight it and expose it and uh and lastly come come link, lock in with us on wednesday nights eight o'clock p.m central standard time eat dinner a little bit early on wednesday night and then you can come and chill out with us and laugh and have a good time because we talk sports we talk Hey, y'all get some of Coach Owens' uh, greens, and then y'all come kick it with us because we're going to talk a little bit of everything. I promise you. The only thing we don't talk is politics. So y'all come hang out with us. It's a fun show. Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And KT, what am I missing, man? And Kevin, Kevin, you won. At the end of the day, I won the game, but you the one that's got, you locked us in with this show, bro. Hats off to you, man. I thank you so much. And I love you too, brother. Thank you for getting this, getting us this type of show. Cause now, you know, I'm going around telling everybody. <laughs> I know Coach Owens. <laughs> so uh KT, I'm gonna let you close this out, man. Yeah, B Jones, that's fine. Everything you said was great. I, I'm really appreciative of it, but she picked you over me. So i my heart is broke. No. But coach, thank you so much for rocking with us. I'm glad we got a chance to spend 40 minutes of your time to hear your story, to get those nuggets, to get that wisdom. And whatever you need from us, please let us know. And we got your back, Coach. Thanks for having me. And what you guys are doing is awesome. I appreciate you guys following the women's game. And uh, I love your energy. Keep doing what you're thank doing. Thank you, Coach. So thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, this is the last time to make Queen Latifah uh, ha happy, Coach. Go ahead and wrap us out that song. The, the, what is the, the Queen? Come into my house. Oh, I do remember uh, that. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, look, now, yes. Now, now you remember. Now, now you remember. You <laughs> Dang, I want to be down. I want to do her version on the brandy. I want to be down with Ooh, you. That, that, ooh, yes. that was cold. That was, that was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Okay. And her last I'm, name I'm is Owens, too. Her real name is Owens, too. So. Really? That, that, yeah, I'm, I'm committing to the University of Notre Dame. Yeah, we just over. I'm shutting down my. I'm shutting down my recruitment. You know. Sports Life Talk Nation. We love y'all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another because together we are better. And keep dreaming big because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. She was crazy as I knew you had next Cause you always working You always grinding You're in your bag Cause you're always working Like in due time I just I knew you got next Oh you did it huh Crack the code You got next You smashing goals You want next You need exposure Well sports like talk Got the baddest show Like the baddest hut in the room Podcast is tuning to Just for you to talk your shit Talk your mushroom You want what you eat And you should consume Sports like talk From the late night To the afternoon Then rest repeat Hit the like Leave a comment Or subscribe So you don't miss a beat You got Next is a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, you got next, yeah. I can feel it, you're a winner just like me. You got next, and what comes next? Tune in next time and you'll see. Cause if you got next, yeah, if you got next, if you got next, then you're just like me. If you got next, if you got next, yeah. Sports life talking this